What does the Cincinnati offense do that catches your attention? Well, they run the, they run the ball really well. Uh, two really good backs, a quarterback that runs, and they will run him. Um, Complement that with um, a good naked, you know, play action pass game uh, with some talented receivers outside. Um, I mean, they just they do a really good job offensively, schematically. I think they're just they're sound on what they do, and uh, got a tight end that can stretch you and catch the ball, and um, they have a RPO game to complement that as well. So they uh, they just keep you off off balance a little. Jay, what do you think Arizona State was able to connect on some deep balls against you? Um, you know, we had, uh, you know, third down was with, was the problem. You know, we just weren't able to get off the field on third down. And, um, you know, that's been a, uh, you know, we've been pressuring a little bit on third down. And that, that's been a very efficient thing for us. If you looked at the numbers all year, we've been excellent there. And we just weren't on Saturday. Um, we had, I think, on third and long, we had four third down pressures. And um, one of them hit. And, got the ball thrown away. Um, one was just an outstanding blitz came clean, couldn't hit it any faster, and the quarterback just drifted to 20 yards deep and threw a ball up and caught an 11-yard pass in third and 10. It's frustrating. Um, you know, one time, um, uh, actually two times we fell down. One time we kind of fell down after the ball had been caught. It had been close on the sticks, and then we uh, third and 11 on the 11, the first series of the game, we, we just simply fell down, you know, and, and with, uh, with one of our best cover people. So, um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I've got to do a better job of putting those guys in, in better situations. And those are situations that we've won all year round, all year. And, and we just weren't winning them on Saturday. And, I, and part of it is, is uh, uh, the receiver, number zero, was a really good player. And he was, uh, um, I don't want to say we underestimated him, but we probably didn't pay him the attention that maybe we would have paid uh, a couple other guys throughout the course of the year. And, um, you know, maybe that was a miscalculation on our part. Uh, but, uh yeah, we've, we've got to do a better job on, on, on third down, getting ourselves off, on, on fighting our butts off to get in those situations, and then we don't win. That's frustrating. It's not a long game for some of the seniors on this roster. What do they mean to you? You know, those are the guys that have absolutely, um, you know, when we got here, um, you know, those weren't our guys. You know, I mean, they, they, they became our guys, but, you know, they, they were uh, guys that were recruited by other people. These are guys that we brought in. And, and some of them have, have earned their way onto this roster. You know, when you think of Austin Moore and you think of Brendan Mott and guys that kind of snuck in through the back door, so to speak, and um, they've changed this culture and how they've evolved over time. I just think of Austin Moore's journey with, uh, um, you know, how kind of being in the, I don't want to say the shadow, but, you know, kind of being the second fiddle guy to, to Daniel Green and then the transformation that he went through a year ago when Daniel Green you know, his career ended really suddenly and hit him taking over that leadership role and then him having the, uh, I guess, courage or competitiveness to come back, you know, after last year didn't finish the way we wanted it to finish. Um, guys like that just mean the world. And, and the guys that, that came along the way, the Marquis Siegels, you know, the guys that, that have meant so much to this program that, that didn't start here, um, it may not have originated here, but they've become K-State. So... Um, we're, we've got to have everyone on board for those guys because those guys mean a lot to me personally and they mean a lot to this program. What is the mental state of your defense? we got a lot of competitors. And, um, you know, we talk a lot about how we, we never let our circumstances dictate how we show up and um, it's frustrating circumstances right now. And so we're really being tested in that uh, ethos right now. And that's, um, you know, I, I'm... I thought our mental state was was fine going into Arizona State, and, and uh, I thought um, I thought we were a little shell shocked early, to be honest. Um, uh, you know, we kind of got off the field on that first deal, and we got a defensive holding on Damian Elalio of all people. Yeah, I, which I I don't know if I saw or didn't see, but um, that's frustrating. You know, and they they you know you get them to third and eleven, and they convert because we fall down. That's frustrating. You know. Um, but then, you, then again, you turn around and they, they got the ball again on the 45-yard line, and we three and outed them. And you know, I, I thought our guys were ready to play. It just to win our night, um, and I, I believe that our guys will be ready to play again. Brendan's stats have soared this season. Have you seen offensive lines paying a lot more attention to him? It's hard because we've got a lot of really good rush men. I mean, we've got some guys that can get after it, and so, and, and we, you know, 
we design pressures and things enough to, to, to manipulate protections where he doesn't, uh, you know, get some of that stuff. What I, what I will say as a, as a whole is, is people are keeping tight ends in more. Keep, people are keeping backs in more against us. We see a lot more max protection stuff than most other teams see. You know, we, we look at it on Sunday and, you know, a team might not be a max protection team and lo and behold, they've kept their tight ends in half the time, you know? And so guys are paying respect to our rush and, um, uh, it's putting a little bit more heat on the coverage when they do that. And, and, and so, uh, I guess Brendan is certainly a big part of that.